Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys three of my favorite makeup looks from the fall fashion runways and how you can recreate them using fungal acne safe products. Roll the footage. So today I am going to be sharing those three looks and also giving you product recommendations for how I would personally recreate them. Make sure you guys stay tuned because after I share those looks, I want you guys to vote and tell me which of them is your favorite and which one do you most want me to recreate on camera at a later date. Let's do this. So these looks are ones from fall fashion week, which actually happened right before COVID shut the entire world down because fall fashion week is obviously presented in spring. So from those fall looks, I tried to pick three that are going to be the most wearable for your daily life and you can kind of translate them into your daily life. So you could wear them to the office, you can wear them on a date, you can wear them anywhere you go and feel okay about it. A lot of times when it comes to the makeup trends on runways, they're just not wearable looks. So you kind of have to pick and choose what's gonna work for you and these are three that I think will work for anyone. So the first look is one that I call Disco Ball Eyes, but really what it is is embellishing your eyes and eyebrows, just the entire top half of your face with crystals. There was a lot of this happening on the runway. You could see the big round circle ones around the whole eyes, in the brows, underneath, all over the place. It was everywhere. Of course, this really isn't very wearable for the office or really a date night. It's probably only gonna suit you if you're going to a concert or Coachella or just something of that nature. However, I think that this is really translatable by using body glitter. One of my favorites is the NYX Face and Body Glitter. They have 11 shades available. They come each at $6.50 a pop, so they're a really solid value. You get plenty of pigment in there. So there are lots of different methods for actually applying this glittery look to your eyes. And while a lot of the glitter glues are not fungal acne safe there are plenty of alternatives out there one option would be Vaseline just put it in a thin layer before you apply it you can also use the duo clear lash adhesive they have a paint on one that would work really well there is also a clear brow gel by Sephora collection that you could use to create some sparkly brows which I think is so beautiful and if you guys want to see that product and also all of the other products that are fungal acne safe from Sephora collection you can click the link above that I will put up right now because I have done a whole video on it. Another trend that I absolutely love and you probably will not need to go and buy any new products in order to create this look and it is the gothic glam trend specifically around the lip area. Now this was also all over the runways. You can do it matte, you can do a gradient, you can do it glossy, however you want to wear it. To keep it fungal acne safe, I highly recommend using the Maybelline Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I like to create a red vampy kind of look using the colors Pioneer and Founder together and I also achieved the lip look that I'm wearing today using two colors mixed together originator and creator you can mix and match any of these colors just keep in mind that when you do they dry down and get tacky very quickly so you're gonna want to work in smaller sections and apply a little bit at a time let it dry down before going on with a second coat just because if you put too much on all at once and it doesn't dry down on its own, it's gonna start to pill and kind of flake away a little bit in certain areas. But if you apply it correctly, then trust me when I tell you, this stuff is gonna last you all day long. I actually used this same kind of lip color for an Elphaba costume last Halloween. And like I've told you, I was at that Halloween party for a long time, eating, drinking, dancing, having a blast. And by the next morning, this stuff was still plastered on my lips. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Now, before the final trend, let's hear a quick message from past Brooke, and then I will meet you guys back here on the other side to continue. Hey guys, Brooke here. I just wanted to drop a quick reminder that I struggled with acne for 17 years of my life, and it wasn't until I discovered fungal acne that I was able to clear my skin without the help of dermatologists, prescription drugs, harsh chemicals, or expensive products. If you want to find out the exact methods, products, and skincare routine I use to achieve these results, click the link in the down bar below to download my From Fungal Acne to Clear Skin Guide. Just look for the green check marks. It's a one-stop, straightforward guide to help you navigate the world of makeup and skincare when you're dealing with fungal acne. And now, back to the regularly scheduled programming. 
All right, guys, welcome back. If you are still with me, I'm glad you made it here. Let's hit this last trend, and then you guys are going to be able to cast your votes. The third trend I'm covering is the out of line liner or the overliner, however you wanna say it. This is kind of a continuation on that bold graphic liner eye that we've been seeing for a long time now. Now, go ahead and thumbs up this video if you, like me, also watch Glow Up on Netflix and you are totally obsessed with the show. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but the way that Val Garland does her eyeliner is just incredible and I'm obsessed. Ding dong, Val, you've smashed it on this one. And this is definitely a take on the out of liner trend. What she does is she actually just draws one horizontal short line underneath her lash line, like well underneath her lash line. What that does is actually give Val the illusion that she has way bigger eyes than she actually does. And it also helps her eyes to stand out underneath her glasses. So if you are watching this and you have smaller eyes that you're trying to trick everyone into thinking are a lot bigger, then that is a trend I would definitely jump onto if I were you. Obviously you guys know, if you guys are looking for a fungal acne safe black liner, there are just a million where that came from, so I'm not gonna cover that today. However, it is a lot harder to find beautiful, colorful liners. So I'm gonna share this trick, but I first shared it in an eyeshadow video, which I'm gonna link above if you guys want to watch that one right now. But the trick is, there is a brand called Medusa's Makeup, and they make something called Eyeliner Seal. And that product is designed to mix together with their loose pigments to create a liquid liner that you can apply in any color and they also have the jackpot on colors you guys if you're looking for good beautiful pigments go over to Medusa's makeup check them out you will not regret it I actually used that hack to create a gold overliner look last New Year's Eve for myself and if you guys want to recreate something similar then I will be sure to link those products in the down bar below all right, you guys, the moment has arrived. It is time for you to cast your vote. So would you like me to create number one, which is the disco eye trend, number two, which is the gothic lip trend, or number three, which is the over liner look? Go ahead and cast your votes right now. And as you're doing that, I did just wanna remind you guys that you can shop all of the products that I mentioned in the bar below through the links, or you can shop them and so many other great fungal acne products on brooksbeautybazaar.com simply by clicking shop at the top. Make sure you guys come and say hi to me over on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar where I hang out every single day. All right, five, four, <coughs> three of, that's way wordier. Fall fashion runways. Yeah. Why, because of your key titling? Okay, Whew, that was a lot to get through. Okay, one stop. One stop, ding shop, dong. ding dong, that. 